Hi kids, welcome to Sean's Arcade. This time we'll be looking at emulation, or is it, or is it emulation? We don't know. This, my friends, is a Pandora's box. Greek legend has it that Zeus and Prometheus, I think, had a massive fight and they give Pandora, they didn't want this box because it's a bit dodgy, they give this box to Pandora and she opened it and inside was dodgy emulation. Pandora had unleashed dodgy emulation onto the world. Or is it? Is it? It's all right. It's okay, but we can do better. My friend Victor Marland, who's just started up his, who's just relocated to a different house in Glasgow, has got different ideas. Watch this and see what different ideas he has. What emulation goodies he comes up with. Goodbye. Hello, we're back in Mr. We're back in Mr. Marlin's arcade, yeah, indeed, and uh, last night I was very interested in the multi-game systems that Mr. Marlin has, because because you've got not a lot of space and too many games, too many games to play, and not enough space. Space games, let's sort it out, kids. Absolutely. Uh, right, Mr. Marlin, let's mm -hmm. go through your multi-game systems. Okay. Here we go. First on the left, we have this delightful little one here. Like what do you have here? <laughs> So this is a bit kit, not a biscuit, not a biscuit, a bit kit from a guy called Crafty Mac who makes the uh, test pattern generators for monitors. They're really successful. These are really good as well. It's a tiny little board. Um, I think oh, it's locked up. Let me just open up. It's a tiny little tiny board. Oh, you can't even see it. So. Oh, I don't know. It's that. about four inches square. Little yeah. thing, jammer yeah. connector. And uh, on the game, you can put your own games on it. It, it plays, I think it plays a hundred games, over a hundred games, but they're versions of each other, so there's not quite as many. It's about 60 of different games. Yeah. And they're old games, like Crazy Car, which runs on Galaxian hardware. I think it runs on Scramble hardware, because it's basically a, a Scramble hardware FPGA thing. Right. Basically. It plays on the good well. So you've got, the ones I've got in here are some of my favourites. Like Pengo, which is Pac-Man hardware, Pac and Pal. Let's zoom in. Uh, Super Pac, Ladybug. Junior Which you can hear playing in the background, by the way. That's in the background. Mr. Neil's playing that. Moon Cresta, Uni War S, Galaxian, Crush Roll, which I hate that game. Tasmania really like that one. Armored Cars, good game. Jump Bug, Frogger. You sort of get the era of the early 80s games, anti Elizabeth, that sort of stuff. And you can, there's a few little settings on there. You can play like the turbos on some of the Pac Man games as well, which is quite good. But they work really nicely. And it's got a nice little sort of, um, little. Uh, interface. Eyes, interface as well, so just go play with player one, and it just boots straight into it, free play, and it plays just like the arcade. It's FPJ, so it's a, it's a really faithful rendition of the games. I love, I love this eye game, eye and I love the sounds on this game, it's really good. Oh, got me. Right. Just press the double buttons to get out of it again. That's that one. Really worthwhile getting that one. This one is, I like this one. It's a multi-game system from, what's he called, sorry? This is Phil Murray, oh, uh, yeah. UK back, friend of mine. Really good bloke, really clever. This actually works on a scramble board. Nice. An actual original scramble PCB. So it's a, it's a couple of little add-ons for it and he's made uh, extra games for it recently. So he, he used the ROMs on there and you add the ROMs to it. I think it's the ROMs, the sound, ROMs and the colour PROMs you put on the board, so you, you burn them separately. I mean, you've got to have a, uh, an EEPROM burner to do it, which is cheap from eBay, about 30 quid now, it's from Mini Minibon. And um, you put the games on there, and it's got this many on there so far. Uh, he does time to time update them, and I hope he does some more soon, because um, the games are brilliant. You've got Super Cobra, which is like Scramble, Scramble, Turtles, one of my favourites, Amadar Frogger. Can't the end, rescue, double twix, twin stick game, Tasmania, really cool game. Got the twin, twin stick. I did, yeah, I did custom the panel down I there. I really like playing rescue and minefield. Armored Cart Anti, and the last one he, he updated was Lost Tomb. And you can get, you obviously use settings as well. But I mean, this is actually on hardware, so this is hardware. Yeah. It's just changing the EEPROMs, the color PROMs, and the sounds to work on the same hardware. Because all these games work on scramble hardware or very similar hardware. So I think what, what Phil did as well is on, on Frogger and Minefield and Rescue, he uses slightly different hardware to do the background colours because Frogger's a split screen, blue and black. Yeah. And what he did is he actually borrowed a board of mine, which was an original Rescue board, 
and he did, he made a little board up for it which emulates or I think it's a, a copy of that board that did the hardware to do the gradient fill. So if you look at Rescue now, uh, put some coins in. Boom. The it's got, it's got the radiant colour. So before it was just um, like quite like thick lines. Yeah. Now he's got the, yeah. Radi the gradient in there. And Frogger is the full blue and black. So it's again on this game, two buttons together, and it goes back to the settings. That's I play this probably more than anything in the arcade. Yeah, it's got a lot of favourite games. Yeah, a lot of your favourites, and there's some classics on there like Scramble, Super Cobra. Title! You like the titles? Titles. And what have we got over here? I'll, I'll let you get through. So, right in the corner. I'll this is a lovely out. machine. This is a, it's, it's, have you got the cube outside out on as well? I can't remember. No, there's no side out. It's just, it's just the marquee, the bezel bit, and the control panel. But I've actually got a four way in there rotated to 45 because it just plays the Qbert games because this is the Millstar FPJ board inside. I've heard of that one. So the yeah, FPJ yeah. on the bit kit has actually got an original Z80 processor on it and this has got original 6809 processor on it. Right. And I've, another one I've got Sean, I, I've got in a, a cab at the moment, is that one there? Ooh. This here, this here is a berserk one. The BZF. Oh, so it's Berserk, Frenzy, and Berserk. Slow Bullets, Fast Slow Bullets. Slow Bullets, Fast Bullets, and Frenzy. And that is absolutely spot on. It's really Cycle good. count perfect, isn't it? Yeah, I think they did a million clock counts on it. They timed them with a proper board. It was exactly the same, a million clock counts. So it's really good, that one. That's amazing. That's a lot. But this one is the Millstar. It's got some other software on it as well, which I've turned off because it doesn't work with the controls I've got. Like Krull and stuff it's like, like that. Krull, it's got, I think, three Stooges. Uh, it's got Mad Planets, which oh, I'd like to make a control panel for one day with yeah, a stick and a spinner. Game. Excellent it's a really game. good game, and it works on it. So the games that work with the, the four-way, 45-degree angle joystick, Cuba, Mellow Yellow Cuba, which is like a branded version of the Custard. Yeah. Uh, faster, harder, more challenging Cuba, which is really our version of it. And Cubert's Cube is really cool. So this has got, and also, what I did with this one, on the board there's an extra connector, and if you buy a pinball knocker, you can attach the knocker like Hubert had. So let me just, you might be able to pick it up with your sound. If you put your sound right in the front of the cab here, because there's a knocker behind this part of the cab. Right, let's try it. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just kill Hubert on purpose. My bad playing usually kills him on purpose anyway. But I'll chill him. So if you just jump off. The yeah, dunk, very you know, loud. Dunk. Yeah, yeah, that's. So it's excellent. just a, a knocker that hits the wood. I think I put a little bit of sponge in there to make, make too much noise. So you've recreated the knocker in the original cab. Yeah, the original cab would have had a knocker. Even the um, the rare cocktail of Cuba has got a knocker in it as well. I think it's got one on either side actually. Wow. And you just press the two buttons together, I believe, to get out of it back into the. Nice, that's FPGA. Really cool. But this is the one most people I think will be familiar with, which is a MAME setup with Groovy MAME, but it's not a J-Pack as I understand it, is it? It's something else. I used to think of an arcade ASD, which is very right. similar to a J-Pack, which is, uh, it, it interfaces the controls to the PC, uh, so you've got the joystick and the buttons, and I've actually got a spinner on this one as well, which is interfaced uh, yeah. to a mouse. Um, and it's just horizontal games on there. But it's I have another one of your custom, well. custom panels, aren't they? I made the panel, yeah. Because I'm an engineer and stuff like that. Lovely. So you've got two Jammer joysticks for Robotron, single joystick three buttons for most Jammer games. Yeah. And a spinner, obviously, for Arkanoids and uh, Camel Try and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so that's brilliant. And on here... We've got loads more. Yeah, this is, it's playing a board, it's playing original mouse at the minute, which I'm really into. Which but is not a multi-board No, it's, that's an actual... If you can see PCB. down there, kids, that is a Mouser PCB. Very hard to track down. Mr. John Porchy's found that. Yes. And awesome that is a vertical version of the ASD horizontal. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the thing behind that board, it's just the board plugged in at the moment, is the same system, but a vertical system of it. Right. Just a normal, normal sort of vertical setup. One joystick, three buttons. Excellent. Now we're moving on to Mr. 20 to 5 socks. Yes. Look at these. Look at them. Aren't they lovely? Beautiful. They're from Sock Club. They're Mark beautiful. Socks sponsors he's, Sean Holly. He's, he's fine with his masculinity, aren't you, Mr. 25? Certainly are. Those <laughs> are beautiful socks. You leave that lad alone. <laughs> here we go. This is a, a this is. A, I love playing this machine here. You got, oh, is, yeah. is that multi? Yeah. This is an Asteroids Cabaret original. 
yeah. I did the, a different control panel on a different coloured screen. The sky was blue, made it a little bit different. I think this is nicer to play than the than the upright. The upright the yeah, yeah it, it feels really good. So at the moment, that's got, as you can see with those little spaceships, that's Astro's Deluxe. Yeah. If you press two and one together, you get Lunar Lander. Yeah. You can actually play it with the thrust button. You use, the, instead of using a big thruster, yeah. you use, I think, the hyperspace, you just tap it. And apparently, it plays quite well. I don't yeah. play it because I hate I it, the game. I think it's all right. Yeah. yeah. And you press it once more. And it's back to that's asteroids. Oh, we've got number two last night. Look, Woo, yeah, that's yeah. crap, that crap one, school. Yeah. So that's a really good one. That That is um, a tiny board that fits over the main CPU, 6502 in there, and the 6502 goes on top of it. So that is real hardware running that yeah. as well. And this one is also real hardware. This is very loud, but we'll go it's for quite it. quite loud, this one. And this is an original Space Invaders trim line, Total Trim, which is the cabaret version of it. Yeah. Um, and look at that little marquee down there, it's so nice. Trim line, yeah. A bit of fluff on it. And this has got the, the Braze multi-kit in it. So you've got normal Space Invaders, Space Invaders Deluxe or Part 2 we've got it over here. Lunar Rescue, favourite of ours. Yeah. Is this one of the oldest kits? I think it is. Isn't it? It's one that runs in one of the oldest hardware. I don't know when it was actually first made, but it runs oh, yeah. in 1978 hardware. Yeah. Yeah. The original board. But Lunar Rescue is a favourite of ours. All black because this is a black and white screen one. It all runs black and white. But if you've got a colour machine, it will work in colour. Works the colours out. Ah, like Mame does. We like Lunar Rescue. Yeah. And that. yeah. So you've got Balloon Bomb, which is quite a fine game. Jack Respector, another Space Invaders clone. Space Laser, which is a fun little game. Galaxy Wars, which is really cool. We like that one. And Super Earth Invasion, which is a sort of zooped up version of Space Invaders. You just press the button on that to play. Go and put it on. Be loud, put it as, on. loud as heck. Well, free, we've got the free play business, it's got high score save as well. I think all of them have actually. It's just shoots some invasion. Yeah. So that's why it's Earth Invasion, because it's a house. Yeah, but every now and again you get a really fast bullet coming no, out. No, it makes sense. It's good. And you press the two again, as usual. Get you back to your. That's really good, that. And, are we done? Have we, have we got them all? I think we've got them all. Got to get them all. Well, that's excellent. That's how you get a lot, of, a lot of games arcade. into small arcade, into small area. Yeah. A lot of favourites. Proper hardware. 90% proper hardware. Yeah, go on. Is the um, Williams one. The Multi Williams. J-Rock. Yeah. Because yeah. that plays like Defender, which you obviously need a panel for, and Robotrons, and they play them really well. Does it joust as well? I think it's joust, yeah, and yeah. Bubbles, and yeah. Sea Star. Some games there. Mm. So some good, very expensive games there. So it's a cheap way. I, know, I think the boards are quite expensive to buy, but it's a cheap way of getting hold of those expensive games. Uh, thank you very much, sir. No problem. I'm going to play Mouse because I'm uh, back in love with it. Again. I think you should. Goodbye. Goodbye. So enjoy this next bit, kids. This is the bit when the pr the previous evening when the arcade was in full full open. It's like a work in progress, but it's, I think he's going to move it in his house to somewhere else, not a different house, a different room in the house. But we, we enjoyed that uh, journey up there to Glasgow to see Vic, and I hope you enjoy this next bit. That was a good segue. I must practice my segues. It's ooh. Like this. Maybe I need to work on those kind of things. Anyway, kids, nice to see you again, even though I'm just looking into like a. Oh, itchy nose! Looking into a phony thing. A phony phone. So see you later, kids. Bye. How's that going, then, Vic? Not well. Hello. And welcome to Victor's Arcade. A work in progress, as you can see, with two Jellico ponies over there. Hello, Mr. Marland. Hello. How are you doing, sir? Okay. It's my podcast host, Victor Marland, who you saw on a previous video, if you watch any videos of mine. But don't matter if you don't, because they're not great, are they? They're all right. All right. So, <laughs> so let's have a look. It's Mr. Porchy. Hello. All right. Yeah. He's playing Frogger on a Isis. Vic's got five Isis cabs. And it's not the, what's it? It's not the terrorist organisation, is it? Oh, hell no. Subelectro made the UK cabinets. They were. Yeah, and they were called ISIS in the 80s, weren't they? Subelectro ISIS. Cabs, yeah. And these are really cute little cabaret things. The ones I used to play in the chip shop as a kid. Did you? Yeah. Are these exact ones? Yeah. I'm not about these ones, but they're very similar. Just press that there, look. That's, that's a Mr. Driller mark here, and that's Mr. Driller. Is there anything else? Mr. Driller, is there anything else in it? Is that, that going to be dedicated? Yeah, 
one, two, and G. Three, three proper oh, boards. Yeah, and I've also got a Neo Geo MBS with puzzle bubble and uh, other puzzle games like Tetris. On a, Joy Kid. On a jammer switcher. Yeah, maybe you just turn it over inside. Tiny, I bet there's, there's a frogger there. That's What's that, 8 bit kit or something? That, that is one. the bit kit. The bit kit. Met, bit kit. I've never heard of that before. It's good, it's got loads of good, cool old games on it. That's got. What's it got on it? I forgot. Games. Stuff. Games and stuff. Games and stuff. Frogger, Scramble, Pac Man, uh, Galaxy, Galaxian, Gallagher. Oh, Uniwar S. Uniwar S. Yeah. Those are Very good old good. ones. Mr. Porsche there. Hello, Mr. Porsche. We've just been out for an Indian, it's very nice. Oh yeah. And that one next to it has got the Phil Murray Konami Stern kit in it. So it plays lots of cool old Konami and Stern games. Scramble. Super Cobra, Super Cobra. Rescue, Minefield, Frogger. Loads of cool ones. That's good. That's Tomb. That's weird. It's a weird game. Isn't Don't it? like it. Then we that got there's my Bosconian cab, but my Bosconian board doesn't work at the minute, so I just popped a a pie in there that was playing it, but I decided to put Higgamaroo on there for a bit. Higgamaroo with Ruby you, badam badam. And Cubert, little dedicated Cubert. This is the, very uh, good. TJ in it. You've got side art in, on it and everything, haven't you? Not side art, but it's oh. got the main artwork and stuff. And it's got the knocker installed as well, behind there. <laughs> it's only four, it goes dunk. That's very good. Yeah, oh, thank you, Bert. That's very nice. you got Mr. 20 to 5. What time is it? 20 to 5. <laughs> And this is a pie as well, isn't it? No, no, there's a, there's a PC in that running main track mode. Oh, that's right, that's right. And normally this next to it, the vertical one, has as well. Yeah. But Mr. Porch has brought on a proper, if you can, get, if you can see down there, that is a proper... Mouseable. Mouser PCB. Very yeah. rare game. Nothing special about the board, but it's a proper one. It runs Mouse, which you're the world champion of, Sean. Yeah, I got 230,000 earlier on. the second game, which beats the uh, old Twin Galaxies. 336 is my yeah. highest score. Yeah. And you've got your two work-in-progress Jallicos here, haven't yes, you? Yes, they're the same machine as the one next to it. They've been powder coat painted already. And they need some new tubes. The tubes in there aren't very good. Oh, tubes... Oh, this is this is the wall mount on a black and decker table at the moment. It's <laughs> not a wall. We'll Trust them on the wall. Yeah, that's very, a really nice German ladybug game. Very nice heavy, game. aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome little game though. Such a good game to play in that cab as well. It's a really nice angle. Let's have a look at look out. The, to court, talking of nice angles, these are like the steel made, aren't they? The Jellico pose. Yeah, they're really heavy. And they're like, what degree is that? What do you reckon? It's about fifty degrees. It's right. perfect, I think. It's really yeah, good. Nice things to play at. I like them. They're really sought after, aren't they? Them. Yeah. Yeah. There's not many around. And we've got over here three cabarets. I mean, Cabaret. That is a Phoenix Taito trim line. Oh, a rare one. That not many of them around. You're a pony if you're making it. Very nice. I like the marquee bit. That's, yeah, that's, nice you won't call that, but you call that a marquee along the bottom. I suppose, yeah. It would normally be above the screen. Yeah. You've got an Asteroids Mini next to it. I prefer, the, I prefer uh, playing this, it just feels better. It's got the, the Braze kit in it. It's got Asteroids, Asteroids Deluxe and Lunar Lander. Nice. It's nice. And in the and corner... The Taito Trimline again, Space Invaders. And that's got the Braze kit in, which has got all our favourite games like Lunar Rescue, Space Invaders 1 and 2, Jatra Spectre. Don't know what that Space is. Is that Invasion. Space Invaders? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a French version of it, I think. If you press both start buttons together, go back to the menu, so it's got those games in it. Space Laser's quite good, but play that. Oh, put it on. Is it's that the one with the, 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 the big laser? Yeah. You've got to shoot up through the middle of it. I can sort of play sideways. You're trying to get your opponent at the top. They all have the, do they all have the Space Invader sounds? Yeah. They probably didn't in the arcade, did they? Or did they? Not, you feel like dedicated games probably didn't know. You've got to wait for your um, your fuel to go all the way back up so you can fire right across the screen like that. Oh, he got me again. Damn it. God, that, that's a stupid game. I'm not very good at that. I love Lily Rescue. Galaxy Wars is a good little game as well. And Super Earth Invasion, which is quite a funky version of Space Invaders. Uh, it's quite a fast version of it, that one. It's good. 
Super Earth Invasion. Yeah, that was a cab I was after for a very, very long time. It's basically a very trim line, yeah. Yeah, awesome little game. Yeah. It looks really nice, that's the other one. 1981 Taito. And we've got your favourite game here, well, ever? Games, yeah, Dig Dug. Is it your favourite game ever? One of them, yeah. It's a Euro version. It's just got the, the basic side art on it. It's just got the wooden side art. It's sort of a, sort of a oh. full-size machine, but it wasn't really classed as a full-size. Oh. Love a bit of Dig Dug me. Oh, no, sorry, I don't. Sorry. You don't, you're rubbish at it. I'm rubbish at it. And this is, what, which, what, what's this going to be, Vic? This is going to be a dedicated shooter, really, a vertical shooting machine. I'm going to put Star Force in it and Gemini Wing and some simple games. Oh, it's a work in progress. I made it from scratch, that one. You oh. see the biscuits on top? Yeah. Ooh, let's bite the biscuits. There. Pointy biscuits. <laughs> And that's it. You've got two wall mounts in, in the other room. in the other room where the the girls are sick, having a glass of wine. Let's play this favourite game. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that is a good game. No. <laughs> that's a good game, Mouser. Mouser. Proper board. Awesome game. It's very nice playing it on like real hardware. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's really a privilege good. to do that actually. Yeah. How much was that board, Jan, did you say? 100 quid? Yeah. 100 quid. Bargain. Half a price. And John's very, very cleverly decoded it, hasn't he? And taken, yeah, the, taken the bats off for you. The Not on this one, no. Not on this Not one, but on, on... Hopefully I'll do a little version of that. On the main. On main is, And yeah. stop the kill screen. It kill screens at level six. Yeah. But some of us aren't that good. Sure, that far. I can do on save states, but not in normal play. Well, there you have it, kids. There's two other wall mounts in the other room, like I said. Yeah. It's a nice little space, this, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's going to be bigger when we get the house done properly. It's oh, you're, mo- you're going to move it, aren't you? Whoops, yeah, don't, got, don't tread on that. I'm going to use the big front bedroom for the arcade, originally, officially. And that'll be my nerd room as well, so I'll make stuff in there. Hmm. Yeah, we are nerds, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Wes, well, thank you very much for inviting us over. Pleasure. It's good to have people around. I'm going to have a very good evening. But it went very late now anyway, isn't it? We've been out for an Indian, that one. It's getting on, isn't it? It's bedtime. Neil's got his uh, Percy Pig pyjamas on already. Yeah, let's, let's look at them. We did have one at nine o'clock, mind. Yeah. <laughs> bit, bit embarrassing in the Indian, that, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, why has this guy got his pyjamas on and he's having a curry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, kids. Bye.